Hi, I'm Marty Nemco. This is another of my short, short stories. This one's going to be in my next book called Dark. It's uh, short stories about topics that people don't like to talk about. Uh, this one is called Mousy. My boss called me into her office. We like your work, but in meetings you're a bit, well, mousy. So people, well, underestimate you. As you know, we're slowly reducing headcount by giving employees AI-assisted tools. And I worry that unless you can be more assertive, you could be considered, well, expendable. I was, of course, scared. So after work, I started to kill my inner mouse by watching a well-known loud and prouder at the shareholder meeting. I then tried to imitate her. When I thought I was being good and assertive, I recorded myself on my phone's video app. No, still too mousy. Then I tried imitating the most assertive people I see on TV, certain senators and newscasters, that woman on Fleabag. I videoed myself again. Better, but still. Next, I tried the analytical approach. I thought, okay, what does charisma come down to? Well, first, it's posture. I googled the word deportment, and it said to pull my shoulders back and my chest out, but that would make me look like I was showing off my tits. I didn't want to do that. Then it's the walk. I practiced striding instead of trudging. That I could do. Okay, tone of voice. They say that to sound authoritative, speak at the bottom of your natural range. So I practiced that until I sounded like a smoker, but not quite like Greta Garbo's gravelly, I want to be alone. I kept practicing and being big and bad at meetings, including interrupting like loud and proud did. Three months later, I was laid off. As usual, to avoid lawsuits, they do a group layoff, carefully balanced by race, gender, sexual orientation, and age. And they never give you a reason. So I have no idea if I was still too mousy, too badass, or that my ideas simply weren't good enough. I applied for lots of jobs. And in some interviews, I did act big and bad. In some, my natural self, and in most, somewhere in the middle. I got nothing until I applied for a job as payroll coordinator for the local diocese. I was my natural self. <clears throat> that was <clears throat> five years ago. I'm still there. My friends call me Church Mouse, and I kind of like it. Anyway, that story is called Mousy. Uh, I have a book of short, short stories that's already currently available of this kind of general type. It's called Soloists, Short, Short Stories of Introverts and Outsiders Facing a Dilemma. It's available on Amazon. In any case, I welcome your thumbs up on this story and accept your thumbs down. I always look forward to your comments and especially like it if you hit the share button below. Share on your social media so that my efforts can have broader impact. And I am flattered if you choose to subscribe to my channel. In any event, I do thank you for watching. I am Marty Nemco.